Duke Morkar of Northumbria has now reigned for almost 40 years. In this time, he has fought off foreign invaders, placed a new king on the throne in a successful rebellion, and fought in the First Crusade for God and England. He is not a young man at all, now fully feeling his later years as he seeks to help maintain his family's position and create a legacy for himself. After arriving home from the Crusades, Morkar traveled home to his capital and prepared to live out the remainder of his days surrounded by his family and people. Yet as always, the Defender of the North is called South yet again. King Edgar is beginning to have health issues, which have made him begin to consider the future of his kingdom. The Witten has been called in London, and through it a new king must be chosen. There was a time Morkar would have wished to see himself on the throne, but after the injuries he had sustained in the crusade, he knew this was no longer possible. Although he hit it well, the blow to the head he had taken made him forgetful and more unsure of himself than he cared to admit. Riding south, he planned to help his brother onto the throne, though the Godwins and House Wessex would undoubtedly have other plans. Thank you for being here. Uncle, I was most surprised to receive your recent communication. Yes, yes, I understand that. But bear with me as I need to address all of you about very important things for the kingdom. As you look upon me, you probably recognize that I am not myself. I don't look well, and I certainly don't feel well. As such, I want to make sure that we have a smooth transition of the kingdom. As my son is extremely young, he is not fit to rule. I feel that it is much more important for somebody of more stature and skill in diplomacy and stewardship to take the crown and to help England in their glory. For this, I've asked all of you here so that we may discuss openly amongst ourselves who feels that they would be the best to be able to fill that role. And then we can cast our votes as the laws of England currently state to make sure that we have the correct succession in place. It seems to me that there is only one good choice. You all know my brother. I think in many ways he is the man who has held this kingdom together. He is both a great warrior and a great diplomat. He arranged the marriage with the House of Wessex that resulted in stability in the kingdom. And it is from his wisdom and insight that I think in many ways we find ourselves in far more of a stable position than we could have. It was him who convinced me to support Edgar on the throne. It was him who supported me <laughs> to push back the Norsemen originally. He is the man to lead England forward. It seems simple. Duke Edward of East Anglia, please address I... us and tell us what your feelings are for this. Duke Edward of Wessex, Morka and Madron. I'm not running for election. I know, but I feel that you have been ignoring a simple fact. I am of the blood of two great houses of England, Normandy and Godwin. Normandy? As you mean well, that guy who lost at that battle and died from his wounds? I, I think my brother in law has been drinking. Yeah, I think you're please, just a please, House yeah. Normandy please, is a yeah. royal blood since when? I feel you insult me. But a king is to be a king among equals. I will not serve myself. No, I don't, I I don't do accents. You. you know that with that. The men of Northumbria, the men of Wessex, the men of Cornwall. I'd be your king. I'd serve you, not myself or my own glory or prestige. I fight for your wishes, your wants. I'd live for them and I'd die for them. So I must ask, what is Edgar, son of Edgar of England? Or what has he done to deserve kingship other than blood? I will serve as king. I 
would live for you and your rights. I would make sure England went through prosperity and peace. The men of Hwais, though well respected among the realm, the Lord of Mercia, I fear has not long left. Why must we trouble ourselves with another election? We can solve the matter now for 30 to 50 years. Why must we bicker in seemingly what, 10 years later, after the new king, Morka, your brother, would pass? No, I say there is one clear option of many, I. So gentlemen, I feel then that the time has come for us to Please. cast our votes. You did uh, Morkar end the war? Oh, 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 I'm king, oh. Brother, king. finally. Finally, indeed. I was able to- I will be the first then to offer my loyalty as your humble servant. Good. Your rule shall be a just one, a good one. I look forward to it. I would recommend that you immediately appoint Earl Wolfgeet onto your council and then ask him too to place his vote into that of your son to secure the future. Yes, Earl. House Rose is a very, very good one. I do not seek a place on your council unless you would have me do it as I do wish to spend my final days up in the north in my holdings. We will pay homage to him, but we're gonna demonstrate submission. We're not gonna bestow gifts. He's our brother. We supported him to get here. I don't feel as though Morkar, who is an arbitrary man, will, frankly, do anything more than that. He's definitely got a bit of an ego. And he's very close with his brother, so he would assume, of course, that he would not demand gifts from him. Which I assume would be the case. Could be wrong. We've upgraded our holdings dramatically. Morkar, in many ways, has, he did spend a large period of his middle life back in Northumbria. But in the early days and then his late days, he was frankly not at home very often but in that time he has increased its holdings the, like the wealth the prosperity and just generally the infrastructure of his holdings by quite a lot okay wolfgate is the marshal do you want to be our chancellor me yeah because you're like the highest player besides wolfgate i would be happy to do so of course brother Good. but do not feel like you have to give me a council appointment I have to get people counts to be by trust. That is true. You know I will be forever loyal until my dying day. It's I think the biggest danger to us, brother, in the future of our family is still the Godwins. They hate us for what we did back in the day when we were young men, and frankly, from their perspective, rightly so. We must find a way to... You know I'm not a man for underhanded tactics, and I don't know the way forward here. I will leave that up to you, but they are our greatest threat, as you well know. Wessex too. Duke Wolfgate. Oh, well, how can I help? It has been some time since we've seen each other. I've ridden south, and I wish to uh, spend some time in your castle with you, if you would not be opposed. No, no, I have no opposition. I remember first when we met, Duke Wolfgate. Do you remember? That was a long time ago. I believe you are on our way to Scotland if I do remember right. We actually met before that. It was long ago. I was a much younger man, as were you. You remember when you first gained your title and you fought against that peasant army, and my troops, alongside yours, vanquished them greatly. I gotta think we both uh, managed yeah. to see the martial abilities of each other. It's why I respect you so greatly. I do appreciate it. And even back then, I nearly lost my title. But thanks to your kindness, and the only neighbor of mine to be so kind. Though the others busy, not to talk ill of them. They are good people as well. It's good that you know the needs of the people. I came, of course, from a noble family, House Weiss. We were no great family when I was young. My father, he was the Earl, but he was the first to hold great titles. Our family, even several generations ago, although we did never come from the poorest the peasant stock, we are not like the many great noble families that rule, which is why sometimes I think both me and my brother find it so strange that we now hold such high positions. I think both of us, our families and yours, understand the needs of the people of England more than, for example, the Godwins, who we know have been a noble house for a long time. And I don't think they even 
think much hey about guys. the people anymore. I would never request to be a wolf be kid. Servant. I am an old man, and it has been quite some time since I've had a good fight with another. Those of my own court, they say I am too old, and they will not fight me in single combat. But we both know, you are not a man to shy away from such things. Would you do me the honor of giving me one last great duel against someone so... Good at arm as yourself. We are old men. I do not wish for a blade, a battle with true blades of steel. But I long for a duel. And again, I know that no one who will give them to me in my homelands will give me a proper fight. Would you do me this honor, Wolfkid? I shall give you this honor. For a fair fight there shall be. I shall provide our... The wooden swords Perfect. are not very nice to look at. It's it does not matter. Us. We do it for the thrill of the fight. You know well what this is. I know you do. Oh, you're just... Oh, you just pummeled me. Ah. It appears that... I'll be honest, I've been practicing a lot recently, as I did hope to fight someone in a duel one more time before I think I will not be able to hold a sword anymore. We both know that you are probably not as well in practice, I'm sure. But oh, I can yeah, still I see that... just returned in the... See, uh, it still shakes my head from all that traveling. Of course. Where were you, if you don't mind me asking? Across the, oh, the sea? We were all in Jerusalem. I was leading the uh, Imperial Army. Of it's course. Such a long journey. I took some detours in the papacy. Spoke to the Pope before he passed away. I the goddamn votes. Why? Uh, Are mind? we losing the election? Yes, he is. Oh, yeah. Okay, brother, I need your opinion. What if I removed the election law? You would start a civil war, but this is the last chance our family will have at full strength. <sighs> I would support you in this. Edwin. Brother, if you are going to do what you propose, we must do it now. Uh, you left. And, uh, yeah, he, he just left. Oh, the well, wandering no. king, as usual. He's just, he wanders in and out of rooms, it seems. I think he's perhaps yeah. going senile in his old age. Well, it has been good reminiscing with you, Duke Wolfkeet, but you know I must get back to my own holdings. It has been an honor to speak with you, and I hope you will have the chance again before we both go to the Lord. Of course. May we have one final war. I worry yeah, as to whether party. that will be the case or not, but if so, I will be happy to fight alongside you on the battlefield, friend. Brother, I have got Wolfkeet to even excommunicate Agabond. You have? Yes, what he has. Cause I see. Good to see. He, the he godwins will, be... will not so easily be put off, though. You know this. I know. I'm trying to steer the fire. Because maybe I want them to rebel, so I know who is loyal to me and who is not. But they need to rebel without allies. And the longer you wait, the more they could potentially get. Have you spoken with whales yet? That's the wild card in all of this. I brother. have. I have allied with them. Good. What if I should strike at the godwin family or not? Brother, you have already done something that would call many, uh, would call you a tyrant for. I would be careful. I need to take these things as precaution for our family. I do not, I do not care what they see me as. I understand, but not doom our future in permit, uh, perpetuity for your own fears. I agree they are a danger, but we cannot run to a rash decision here. Think about it. If I could just beat the if they go with some war, and arrest them all. I can revoke them. This is a Hydra's head, brother. If you cut off one head, more will simply appear. What if I cut off all the Goblinson's heads, then? There are so many heads, and you will only create more doing so. There's only about 12 Goblinson's. That's not too many. 34, actually, but... I hope you are Goblinson. joking right now. Yeah, Why is it that I am now the one... Talking about caution. This has never been the case before. Because I'm being king, I have to make sure that this God within the family does not. Being king does not mean you need to make a rash decision. That's my job, brother, not yours. <laughs> Cornwall is no concern. Just forget about him. Oh, I will not. Whoa. Civil war. Are they starting? Yeah. It? Beginning of the civil end. war. Yeah, we're about to start. There it is. It's begun, then. Here we go, brother. One last battle together. One last battle, indeed. I'm surprised they did this. If I can just... If I can just capture this... Never mind, he's fighting. Shit. 
I heed your call, your majesty. Please, Jonas. You will fight with us, Wolfgate. I have no other choice. Or watch the entire kingdom I've loved to serve fall apart. And plus, look they at have those... gathered in Cornwall. Yes, they're advancing now. We must meet them in a place of our own choosing. Brother, come with me. We will meet them in the forest. The capital. Or in the forest. Not yes, the true, the capital. Have we negotiated with the Irish yet? We haven't. We need to. Wolfgate, hold your army in the capital. We will meet them there. It's our only chance. I shall. Oh, the Isles actually joined against us. Wow. Earl Olsuf, if you would send an envoy to the Kingdom of Man and say that I would be willing to give them Ulster if they would stand down. Oh. It is worth a try. Yeah, I, I, I hope your armies reach the capital before their armies. Yeah. Oh, they're going to siege. Interesting. Yeah. Their supply wings can't hold up. No, they can't. Wait to Give it some time. And... By the way, sad news. My son has died. He actually Cause did? Because he kept on fucking beating himself! Oh, he actually flagellated himself to death. Yes, I hate that so fucking much. He was so Yeah, it, it is a really busted trait. They need to change it. Then again, they would have to cross it. There it is. Here they come. Go. Go, go, go. Uh, yeah, go, they're go. coming in. Go, I'm go. Move, move, your, move your reinforcements yeah. in from yeah, Northampton. Yeah, yeah, move yeah, them yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Justice. It's the last society. battle together, friends. We die uh, with honor and glory. And glory. <sighs> it will not be enough. Oh, now they even get that because he's the green terrible right? That's how we get all the traits. Yeah. Retreat back to Northumbria. Okay, we just have to. Oh, we lost 7,000 soldiers there. Yeah, we got How did we lose seven, that many seven, in a defensive? 7,000? One last stand. To the end. To the end, to the end, to the whole. Oh, wait, no. Good question. Yeah, right. He's, he's question. up talking with Cornwall. I think he's suing for peace. Oof. Poor bastard. Yeah. Yep, he accepted it. Oh, he, he All he wanted was independence, so they're independent now. Yeah. Well, oh, here. brother, I have told you what I plan on doing. I'm still here. Earl Olsef, given the splitting up of England and we finding ourselves without any allies at this point, I must secure the future for my family. I plan to ride north of a retinue. Earl Olsef, I would have you ride with me. I will go to Scotland, and if a deal can be made, I plan on swearing fealty to the Scots. Wait, but see, the Scots... The Scots? Uh, Northumbria is a borderland. True. The people here, do they not hold loyalty to the Southerners? I've held this, and my family has held this for only my own life, and I must make sure my son inherits and that my family remains as nobles. This is the I only feel, path I can see I forward. Like, we must instead focus back on our true home of... True home? You're a borderman! We're Anglo-Saxons, but uh, we're not yeah, Southernish. Hush, hush for now. I need yeah. Any yeah, no, to click my thoughts. I also, do you want to ride north with me? Because I'm going right now. Right now? Yes, right now. Northumbria. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm in. I'm in. Northumbria. I have an idea. You can form a kingdom if you get on one more duchy. If you take over me, you can form that kingdom. We can have our own little middle kingdom. Brother, I have already made my decision as to the future. Oh, so Scotland. You know oh, I love you, and I, I fought with you until the end, and I will fight with you in the future, but now I must forge a future where my family will have lands for our house, for our father's dreams. But you know I, I do not lose any love for you. I have come here with a proposal for you, King Duncan. I, I, I shall be delighted to hear this. I think this is not going to be what you suspect. As you know, England is no more. I fought alongside my brother, as I am a loyal man. I have loved him since we were children, and I fought till the end. Yet, to be honest, despite my loyalty to him, I know that he brought this upon himself. And frankly, the situation is of his own making. I must look to the future of my family. My son, he is obviously a prisoner. To King Trey in the Isle of Man. But I do have other heirs. I come here seeking a deal with you, King Duncan. I would be, as you know, 
going to make a perhaps very dramatic move. Okay, damn, you would swear fealty. I would. To, to Scotland. The Scots did not fight us. They did not march south to fight our enemies. And we knew the Duke of Moray well, as he is a good friend of the family. You seem like the only safe option for the future of my family, one I think I could trust somewhat. Our paths are never set in stone. History is nothing more than a series of choices, and the path we wish is never the one we truly get. Duke Morkar of Northumbria is a man who was never supposed to be anything more than a noble of no renown, yet this is not what he became. From the rebellion against Tostig, to the rebellion against the Godwins, to the Great Crusade, he was always a brave man, willing to walk into danger for his honor and family. Morkar had wished to see his family rise high, and to the great fall his brother had overseen was one he could do nothing more than watch. To see ambition fall to reality makes many men lose their purpose and their vision. Yet Morkar chose instead to put aside pride and secure his family's future. As his brother's folly threatened to plunge their family into obscurity, he remained loyal until the end. But as England herself fell to nothing more than memory, he had few choices. He could keep his independence for a few years and risk destruction or swear fealty to old enemies and secure a dynasty. When he rode north, with the most loyal of his men, he sought to bind his family to the Scots, as despite their hatred of the self, they were men of God, and for the most part, onerous and loyal. King Duncan, after much deliberation, accepted his proposal, and after swearing fealty to the men, he rode back south, as news of a revolt from Earl Ulsif demanded his attention. While riding across the old border, he was set upon by the Earl's troops, who had lain wait and killed Morkar, though he fought bravely until the end. With his death, the hopes and dreams of the Weiss brothers ended, as news of his brother's own end followed not long after. His son Morkar II went on to avenge his father's death and continued to rule Northumbria long after. His own reign was one of prosperity and peace. As I said in the beginning, this is not a story of kings. Some men never wear a crown, yet to find an era. The history books may speak of the deeds of Edgar the Holy and Edwin the Tyrant, yet in all their stories Markar shall be known. His was not a life to enjoy his ambitions realized, but it is one worth remembering. I'm Hammurabi. I hope you enjoyed this story and the ones that are to come. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more in the future.